I'll be showing five new features in Reflect. This includes direct integration with Teams assignments, learning management system integration, and a whole lot more. So let's get started. The first new feature is integration of Reflect directly into Teams assignments. So I'm gonna switch over to assignments here as an educator, and I will click create and choose new assignment. We're gonna make this a nice reading progress assignment. Okay, the assignment is attached. I've got my date set up here, the due date, it's going to my whole class. I'm gonna set the number of points, 100 points, and here is the new option, Reflect Check-In, and I will turn this on. And if you wanna see a preview of what that's gonna look like for your students, just click Preview. So this will pop up on the student side, how are you feeling about this assignment, and they can choose whichever one they want, they'll be able to pick a feelings monster, and they'll be able to submit that. And so this is just a preview, I'll close this. Now what I'm gonna do is push this assignment out by clicking Assign. Now we're gonna switch over to the student and show what it looks like on his end. I'm signed in as Alex the student and here is my reading progress assignment. Let's say that I've finished it and I'm all done. Now in the upper right, I'm just gonna click turn in. Now because there was a reflect check-in turned on, I get this pop-up. So how are you feeling about this assignment? Let's say Alex is feeling pretty good. He's feeling motivated. He chooses this feelings monster right here. If you've seen before, you can explore lots of other feelings monsters. So in this case, maybe someone's feeling frustrated or anxious about the homework. So this is really nice in that you can capture all this information about your students and how they're feeling about a specific assignment. Maybe it's stressed. So I will click submit. Great, now as a student, I'm all done. We'll close this. Now we're gonna speed ahead and pretend that a couple other folks have turned in their assignments as well, and we're gonna flip back to the educator. Now I'm signed back in as the educator and I've switched over to assignments and here's that reading progress assignment that I've made. So let's open this up. Now I can see some people have not turned it in but a couple of people have turned it in. And what's really interesting is I can go to reflect together mode right here and that's a new option. If I click this, I can quickly see how people are feeling about this assignment. In this case, hmm, this person is feeling stressed, Alex Wilbur, and Ella, oh, she's feeling overwhelmed. Going back to Alex, what's nice that you can see is previous responses, bored, optimistic, calm. And so imagine when your whole class shows up here, you will get interesting information about how they're feeling about that assignment. And Reflect and Insights can also track this over time. So if you're giving assignments where people are on the most part feeling stressed or overwhelmed, that's great feedback that you're getting about your class, or it could just be certain individuals who are feeling that way. And Reflect gives you all that information. What's also nice, in this student list, we'll open up Alex right here. Reflect is also integrated over on the right-hand side. So here's his Reflect check-in, it shows his stress. I can even view the trend in real time. So if I click this, here's a nice trend of Alex. He's been both bored and stressed as his top emotions, and you'll be able to see different mood trends over time for specific students. If you go into insights, we have additional reflect insights already there. So here's my fourth grade overview, the mood trend. I can see the top emotions in reflect by hovering here. I can see the last check-in and because I made an assignment check-in, it shows right here. And to drill in in even more detail, just click into reflect and you'll get all sorts of information that historically has been there for reflect and insights. The second new feature is an update to how we put all the educator reflect options. They used to be on the right side, they moved to the left, and I can expand this here and I can see the labels. Here are my check-ins. If I've set up an emotion board, I can put that there. One of the big updates is trends. Now if I go here, there's all sorts of great trends. I can see the number of check-ins, average participation, a word cloud of the top emotions, and I can also see my entire class. I can filter by this week, the past month if I want to filter there. So lots of great trending information. You can even filter by these different check-ins. So you can filter per check-in, you know, how did this week feel for you, things like that. The brain breaks are right here. So meditate, move, play, music, and also rolling out very soon is a new one for podcasts. So this is great, a little quick podcast that people can choose to listen to. And then Calm, which I'll talk a little bit more about later. So these brain breaks are what show up for the students, but they're still available to see here in the educator mode. And lastly, at the bottom, what's new? If you wanna see the latest Reflect update, just click this, and it launches you into the what's new in Microsoft Reflect. So lots of great updates. You can always know what's happening with Reflect and the Feelings Monster. The third new feature is Reflect integration with LMSs, and this is using the Open LTI protocol. This is right off the Reflect homepage here. Link is in the description and on the screen. If I scroll down, you can see we've integrated Reflect with Canvas, Schoology, Moodle, 
Brightspace, Blackboard Learn, and many others. And we also have pages for IT admin integration. Let's switch over to show Schoology. Here's the IT admin page you can share to get Reflect set up in your Schoology system. There's a link in the description and on the screen. But let's say I'm signed in right here as an educator who uses Schoology and I've already had Reflect added as an LTI app. We're gonna drill into this course. And if I scroll down, Reflect is already integrated right here and I'm the educator. I'll click this and here is Reflect. I've already added a check-in. I can get trends, things like this, all the great Reflect you've already seen. I can create a new check-in by just clicking this button. So in this case, I'm gonna create a new check-in. I wanna explore some check-in ideas. Let's open up this one. How about, how are you feeling about your connections to peers in class? I can do the preview just like I normally would in any other Reflect, and I can create this check-in. Now when it's created, I can just share this link or the QR code if I want. But what's really nice is the student can just sign in as I'll show in a second and click the Reflect tab and directly answer that check-in there. Now I'm signed in as the student and I'm in this class here. I'll go down to Reflect and here's that student page. So here's that check-in that my teacher made. Jason Parker, he's the educator. How am I feeling? I'm feeling great about my peers. I'm feeling cheerful. Hit submit. And just like that, it's really easy. And I still have all these same great tools like you saw earlier directly here in the LMS via the LTI component as a student. Similar with Canvas, we've got an entire page on how IT admins can set up Reflect in a Canvas learning management system. Let's say right here, I'm an educator. I've already signed into my course. I've got Microsoft Reflect integrated right here on the left. I can create a new check-in just like you saw before in Schoology. So it's very straightforward and we're gonna be adding more LMSs in the future. So stay tuned on that main Reflect website that I showed you and you'll see even more integrations showing up here. The fourth new feature is a set of significant improvements to Reflect for students. I'm signed in as Alex the student and I will click on Reflect over here on the left. This brings up the revamped Reflect area for students. To start, you've got all of your previous check-ins. So for Alex here, he'll click and he can see all the previous check-ins that he's done. Go back. There are all these brain breaks to help center and focus the mind. So fun things like meditation, movement, playing, music. Also things like coloring books. I'll show that in a moment. If you scroll here, you'll see lots of other fun things like the memory game. And I'm gonna go back. When you click on meditate, you can drill in and have lots of different interesting areas to explore. So here's mindful movement with Sienna. If I open this up, I hit play. Ooh, it's kind of nice. Hello, I'm Will Dorenzi Martin. Well, and I'll close this. This is some great integration with Calm. So meditate is in here. Find your mindful buddy. You can go down here. You can practice taking a breath the guided meditation with the snowman, reflective movements, all sorts of great things. If I go here, I go to move. This filters out some fun moving activities, stretch breaks, let's dance, maybe I'm gonna do a stretch break, hit play. All right, do some exercises. Left arm, right arm, very nice. I can turn the sound off if I want, mute, or turn it back on. We'll close this. Things like playing, and this is where the coloring book comes in. So coloring book is a lot of fun. The bottom, you can find your different emotion. So when do you feel most peaceful? Now what you can do is click on any color and again, start clicking around. So there's my clouds. Here's my feelings monster. Maybe I wanna give him a little bit of red right here. And I think uh, I'll give him some nice yellow gold teeth. There are some gold teeth. And so you can go around, give them little rainbow shoes, however you want, but it's a lot of fun to play with the coloring book. You can change the picture. You can say, I'm done here, like click. Woo, little celebration. I can save this and download the picture. Or I can keep coloring if I wanna go back and do some other things. So the coloring book is a whole lot of fun. I'm gonna leave this one. There's also the memory game. So you match your different emotions with the feelings monster. So you click here, oh, hurt and reserved optimistic and curious, reserve, where was that? Oh, reserve, woohoo, I got it right. So anyways, this is a fun little memory game that you can play. We'll close this. The last one is music. Lots of great magical soundscapes here. Ooh, guitar daydreams, that kind of sounds nice. Let's listen to this one. Ah, very nice. Nice little calming mountain and lake background. We'll pause that. 
Lastly, partner collections with Calm. Like I said before, a bunch of great stuff in here that comes from Calm, a very popular app. It's really great for wellness. So a ton of great things that are integrated right here into that student homepage. The fifth new feature is reflect sharing for any educator with any students through the web. I'm signed in as an educator and I'm here on a public website. This is actually the public website for reflect at reflect.microsoft.com. Now what I want to do as an educator is create a check-in that I'm going to share with anyone who has the link. So the first thing you're going to do is up in the address bar, type in reflect.new and hit enter. Now a reminder, as long as you sign in with your school account, this will work across all license types, whether it's A1, A3, or A5. Here I am in the check-in form, and this is very similar to the Reflect check-in form in Teams. You can set how are you feeling today as a default. You might say how this week feel, or you can customize how are you feeling about, and then enter your topic. I could customize this and type whatever I want. You can also explore check-in ideas, and I'm gonna do this. Over on the right, there's lots of different options for you to choose about how you're feeling. And I'm gonna choose how are you feeling about tonight's homework. I click that and it inserts it right here. By default, respondents' names will be recorded down here. You can also customize some settings. I'll click the gear in the lower left. And over on the right, you can see this is people in my organization can respond and a sign-in is required. You can say how long is the check-in open for? 15 minutes, an hour, eight hours, all day, a week, or no time limit. I'm gonna leave it as a default of eight hours. You can also change the emotion vocabulary. For younger students, you might want to choose simplified emotion vocabulary, and this will have fewer and more simple and basic emotions for those younger students. But we're going to leave it on the broad one with more than 50 emotion words. And then also you can choose to record the name, which by default is on. And in the lower left, it says respondent's name will be recorded. If I turn that off, it changes to they will not be recorded. I'll leave it on. I'll close the settings pane. And now we're ready to create the check-in and I will click create check-in. This immediately creates the share this check-in item. Now what's cool is I can copy the link, which is the most basic one. I'm going to do that. But let's say you want to do a QR code. You can go here and there's a QR code that's generated. So you can hold that up. If you're at a conference session, maybe you can download this. You can also share it directly to Teams, Google Classroom, or other apps. I click here. There's other apps that you can share this directly to. But I have the most simple one right here. I copied the URL. What I'm gonna do next is swap over to a student and show what it looks like on their side. I'm here as a student and I've just got Bing, the homepage open. I'm not using Teams. We don't use Teams at my school. You know, I wish everyone did, but they don't. And I'm just gonna paste this URL that my teacher gave me, that reflect URL that was generated. And again, if you had a QR code, you could sign in that way. But in this case, I'm just gonna hit enter. And here's that reflect check-in, really easy. How are you feeling about tonight's homework? I'm gonna select one of these and say here. And now I can hover and get the feelings monster. The other nice thing that we've added is right here, I'm gonna select proud. If I wanna hear what that sounds like, I can read it, so. Proud, focused, optimistic, motivated, enthusiastic about doing something. Okay, I'm gonna choose motivated. And right here, a little note, it says only the check-in creator will be able to see your name. So I've chosen my feelings monster. Okay, now I'll hit submit. And now my check-in has been shared. Now I'll flip back to the educator and we're going to pretend that a bunch of different students have filled in their reflect check-in. I'm signed back in as the educator and at a quick glance, I can see over here three people have filled in my check-in. And I have also the other ones right here for my other check-ins. On the right, if I hover, I can see the responses distribution. I'll show that shortly. Ask it again if you want. Share it if you've lost the link or you want to reshare it. And you can delete the check-in or close the check-in. But the most interesting part is when you drill into a specific check-in. So let's click right here. I can see the folks that have responded to my check-in. And there's a couple of different response emotions. Right here, this person looks like confused, motivated, in this case, this person looks bored. Now you also have the names above. If you wanna hide the names, you just click right here. I might wanna show this to the entire class or the entire staff if it's a staff check-in. And you can show, hey, that someone's bored, someone's confused, someone's motivated. That can actually be helpful to show how other folks are feeling without showing their names. If I wanna drill into the specific responses, I can go here and see that distribution. 
So right here, there's one from Ashley. She's motivated. This person is bored. This person is confused. And if you have an entire class or an entire set of people, this is really handy. Now, especially if you have a lot of people, you wanna say show percentages, that can show the percentages right here. So 33, 33, and 33. That would obviously get bigger if there were more responses. If you wanna keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.